Hey guys, how y'all doing today? Um, I wanted to talk us about something that really has to do with what I've been talking about as judging and blind judges and so forth. What you have to understand is uh, Scripture speaks of rightly dividing the word. Now this is really key and very important to understand. I learned it within the two covenants. Now, there are two trees in the scripture. The Bible is what? It's a book made of what? Trees. What's in this book is two trees. It's the ultimate book of good and evil. Knowledge of good and evil according to God. Most Christians I know read that book and start gaining knowledge of good and evil. And then they start judging others by their knowledge of good and evil. And then they think that by their knowledge of good and evil, they can do what is good and not do what is evil, therefore making themselves right with God. No, no, there's another tree in the Bible you should be focusing on, and it's the tree of life. It's the knowledge of God, the knowledge of Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, God with us now. Now, Jesus said, believe in me, receive me. I will come into you and I will sup with you. I will never, I will never, I will never leave you or forsake you. So guess what? If you believe the truth, if you believe him, then he'll open your eyes and you will see him. Now we have so many people that are blind and waiting for Christ to return. Well, that's saying that you don't believe he's here. Well, you'll never see the truth if you don't believe the truth. You have to believe the truth, believe what Jesus says, and he will come to you and open your eyes to see the truth. Uh, this is so hard to explain because people don't get it. You know, you got to stop worrying about eating from that wrong tree, the knowledge of good and evil. Stop it. Stop it. That puts you under the law. Paul tells us that the law gives Satan his power. Quit it. Jesus came. He died for sin. Sin is no longer an issue. He made you right by faith in him. You are right with God. Jesus gives you His righteousness on our behalf. It is by Him and what He did. The law was supposed to be a tutor to lead you to understand that you cannot keep the law, to lead you to the understanding that you need a Savior. Jesus, He is the promised Messiah, the one who came and did this great thing. Jesus said, it's finished. Do you believe him? Most people don't. They're waiting for him to come back and finish something he didn't finish. This doctrine of men is so deceptive because people's eyes are blind and they don't see him. They don't see the kingdom. They haven't entered in. How can you enter into what you don't see, what you don't believe? How will you ever see if you don't believe the truth? Well, guys, uh, that's all I had to say. Um, God bless you. Have a good day.